Guys, the show is so fucking good! Now, I am aware everybody and their mom knows that I like this show. I made a whole video praising it a couple months ago, but then I went back to watch my video and I cringed so hard, I swear I traveled through time. So, I'm back to talk about it once more, and hopefully, the end result is a bit less cringe than it was. Death Note has been here for little over a decade, and it's huge! It's gained a massive fan base of obsessive cuck shills like myself over the years, as well as a couple Japanese live-action movies, video games, and an American live-action reboot, which spawned all those Netflix adaptation memes you see everywhere nowadays. And for good reason. Do not watch the Netflix movie. Every time I see footage of it, I can feel the carcinogen growing in my head. They cast Willem Dafoe as Ryuk, which seems good, but then they casted this Frosted Tips hipster doofus as Light Yagami, and the end result was not so great. It tries to take itself so seriously, but um... <laughs> This movie is so fucking funny. But I'm not here to talk about this dumpster fire of a film. I'm here to talk about Death Note, but the actual good adaptation, the, the good one. If you like shows with great music, mundane acts executed with over-the-top animation, and engaging tightly written stories, then I can't recommend this show enough. You could probably binge it all in a weekend. That's what I did anyway. I, um... I had nothing better to do. A lot of people have already seen the show, and everybody who's seen it loves it. People have been talking about the show for years, but I kinda just got here, and I want my turn. Death Note chronicles a tale of Light Yagami, whose name spelt backwards is Amage which would actually explain his overall disinterest in women. Light is your completely unaverage high school student. He's a giga genius and is so next level. When we meet him at the beginning of the show, he's completely apathetic towards the monotonous routine that makes up his life. He's been completely unengaged with his life up to this point because he's been completely bored of it all for years. But at the same time, there's an underlying anger festering in him toward the fact that the world is rotting away because of all the nasty people doing nasty shit, like murder and fucking robbery and driver's license and throughout the show his arc consists of being utterly fed up with the degradation of society so when he discovers the power to kill people with a literal flick of the wrist he takes up the name kira a title given to him by his followers and starts murdering all the bad people in his attempt to create a perfect world light is motivated by his drive to change the world for the better but is slowly corrupted by the death note and the power it gives him his psychopathy and major god complex is full by the Death Note and the power it gives him. The show explores human nature, the idea of what justice really is, and how people can be easily corrupted by insane amounts of power like the kind Light gets at the beginning of the series. Light's endgame is to create a perfect world by murdering all the worst criminals, slowly narrowing the killings to get rid of every nasty person, eradicating crime as a whole altogether. Along Light's crusade to cleanse the world, he's pursued by numerous police agencies, whom Light then has to learn information about in order to slowly kill them off. And while Light tries to outmaneuver and weave through all this shit, he's playing an insanely intricate game of cat and mouse with a mysterious detective known only as L. And if you didn't already know, L is so much fun. He's probably the best character on the entire show, and he has the most fun and interesting personality quirks. Also, listen to his sexy voice. Light Yagami. The likelihood that you are Kira is just under 5%. Even so, something tells me I'm not wrong to suspect you. This man's voice made me gay. As Elle investigates Light, they both start to learn more and more about each other and start to set traps to try and corner the other. It's really interesting to see these opposing ideologies clash with one another as Elle and Kira interact over the course of the show. That's kind of the whole point of the series. It's also good to mention that Light and Elle aren't the only good characters on the show. There's a number of great characters that provide fun, interesting dynamics and draw out the real meat of the show in terms of the philosophical questions it tries to ask. No, not you. Not you. I hate Rem probably a little more than I should. But on top of the good characters, this show has an amazing score. I brought it up briefly before, but this show has incredible music. This show's music ranges from intense orchestral chorus chanting to get your heart pumping. to incredibly melancholic and atmospheric tracks for when the show really wants to fuck you up emotionally. <laughs> the 
the tracks in this show manage to really highlight the intellectual battle between Elle and Kira. Elle's theme is the best example of this. The makers of the show actually managed to craft a track that sounds like thinking. you can hear L intricately pick apart the information at hand in his investigation to catch Kira. Some tracks musically narrate the course and outcome of the story. It's all just so good and it really elevates the show to another level. I should also bring up the fact that this is the only anime I've ever seen with an actually good dub, which makes it really easy for a normie like me to enjoy if I'm trying to get into anime. It's probably due to the fact that most of the show is just internal thinking and monologue, which makes it way easier for the English voice actors to work with, since they don't have to follow any already animated mouth movements. The voice actors seriously do an amazing job, with both Light and L's voice actors fitting their roles perfectly, although I will have to admit their VAs are so good that they kind of carry the show from a voice acting perspective. So most anybody who is not named Light or L is kind of butt ass, except for Ryuk. That man is a god of death. But apart from those three seriously fucking awesome performances, the dub is still kind of serviceable, if not completely butt-ass. But I will say, it's worth watching the dub just to see those great performances and for that reason alone. I'm sorry, Elle's voice is just so fucking good, man. I, I have a crush on this dude for his voice alone. Light Yagami. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That's, that's something. That's good. Thank you. The reason I chose to reveal my identity to you is because I think you could be of some help to us on the Kira investigation. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> if anything I've said thus far is sending you good vibrations, then I highly recommend giving this show a watch. At the time of making this video, the entire show is currently on Netflix, and I'm pretty confident it'll stay there because Netflix currently owns the rights to Death Note as a property as far as I know. Because, you know, they made the movie based off the show and it, it was butt ass, it wasn't good, not, not good, don't watch. It's the best portrayal of a battle of wits I've ever seen, providing some of the most insane plans and twists. It's a war between two intellectual titans and it's just so much fun. So go watch it and form your own opinion. It's really good, I promise. Would I ever lie to you? No, I wouldn't. So just take my word for it. Go sit down, watch Netflix, get some homies, get some babes, sit down, watch it. It'll take you like a weekend, I promise. It's, it's good, I swear. Just watch it, watch it. It's really good. Get some homies.